guys. So, those of you who watched my water based true fire video will recognize this helmet. It's uh, pretty much ready to go, but there's some orange peel in the clear coat and a little bit of dust because I didn't have access to a spray booth. So, today I'm going to polish it out and I figured I'd make a video about how to do that. So, first I'm going to explain the process so that I can speed up me doing it and not have to talk through it. Uh, what I'm going to do is sand it all down with a thousand grit sandpaper to begin with until it's all flat, no shiny spots left so that I know that there's no orange peel left in there. Then I'm going to go at it with 1500 grit. Same concept. Uh, what I'm using that for is to sand out the scratches from the thousand grit. Then I'm going to go with 2000 grit and do the exact same thing and finally with 2500. Some people like to go higher than that, they go 3000 grit, 3500 grit. That's fine, that'll make polishing a little easier, but once you get past 2500 grit, I don't find that it really makes much of a difference. And I've got the polisher and the compound to, to get those little micro scratches out fairly easily. So that's what I'm going to start with. And uh, then we'll, we'll take a couple different kinds, well, three different kinds of compound to it and finish it up. There are a lot of different ways to do this. I shouldn't say a lot of different ways. A lot of different processes that guys use to do this. Uh, quite a few different products. Uh, this is how I do it. Works for me. If you've got a different way, great. Make a video of it. Put it in the responses. Anyway, let's get started. All right. So I'm using wet sandpaper. If you have the option, wet sandpaper is, is going to be easier than dry, and usually better. Uh, some people don't use wet when they're doing, for example, guitars and stuff like that because they're worried about water getting into the wood and, and messing it up and warping it. That makes sense, but on a plastic helmet there's no reason not to use wet paper, so I've got my wet dry 1000 grit here. And another thing to note, you should never sand with your fingers, okay? A lot of people, their natural reaction or their, their tendency is to use their fingers because they get a lot of pressure that way and sand like that. But that, that can actually put grooves into your clear coat, make little waves and stuff, and you don't want that. You want the flattest look possible. Obviously, if you can use a sanding block on something, that's going to be even better, but this is a round surface, so <laughs> there's no point in using a flat sanding block on it. So let's get it wet. This cloth is soaked in water. All right, get it nice and wet. and then start sanding. Alright, so here's what I used to do my polishing once I've got the, uh, the item all sanded down to 2500 grit. I start off with some 3M Super Duty rubbing compound and then I move on to their machine polish and I finish off with Meguiar's Ultimate Compound which I know isn't part of the 3M system but it works pretty well for me. Uh, 3M now has a new set of products, they're purple, they apparently work better but I still have some of this so maybe I'll switch over to that once I run out. As I'm doing this, I also move, I've got my, uh, my little pneumatic polisher here. I move from a fairly firm, I guess you, you could even say coarse sponge, down to my softest one. And I'm going to apply each of these to the sponge and to the helmet, and then with medium pressure, polish it out probably two or three times with each of these, uh, making sure to wipe off, wipe off rather the excess in between. So I'll get started on that. Uh, one other thing to note, these 3M products in, in particular are toxic, uh, pretty hard on the lungs. So I recommend that you wear a respirator for pretty much everything, but for particularly stuff like this and uh, clear coating, you know, anything with a hardener in it or that is literally says toxic on it, you probably don't want to be breathing that in if you can avoid it. So, let's get back to work. Alright, 
so here's our finished product, all polished out and ready to go back to the customer, who hopefully won't spend too much time smashing his head against stuff. So, you can see that the orange peel that was in it before is now gone. Everything looks nice and bright because it's all been polished out properly, and hopefully our customer will be happy with that. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.